Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is King Lear from Proceed to Checkpoint and welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online. So the NDA is lifted. As you can see, I've played before it was lifted. I have a level 9 Nightblade, which is a rogue here. Um, but I think I'm going to play this class on launch. So I want to do something a little different and try something a little different. So I'm going to go through um, the character creation process with you. And I'm going to play a caster this time. I don't really play casters, so I'm unlikely to play one. Um, so I figured that's a good one to kind of try during the test so that I know what it's like. Um, so I have my choices of alliances and the choice of the different races in those alliances. I've always been into Nord, but I think I think I'm gonna go for I'm gonna be a high elf this time. I'm gonna be something different. Um and I am going to be so Dragon Knight is um Master at Arms, Sorcerer's Summon and Control Weather. Night blades are the kind of thieves or the rogues, um, and and templars are just your standard paladin type dude. So I'm gonna go for a sorcerer this time, since that seems to be the caster type. I'm not gonna be too fussed about um, character creation in general. Um, I'm just gonna give this kind of a quick run through. Want it to be fairly um, skinny since she's a caster skin color. Um, as human as possible, I guess. Body markings, can I see them? No, I can't. Let's take our gear off and take a closer look. Body markings. I quite like them. Hmm. Actually, I like... I like them. Subtle. Uh, lock, 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 lock. Um, upper body size, not really all that bothered. Lower body size, not really all that bothered. Um, pretty happy with those as it stands. So you can choose your different gear as well. So this is her with no gear on. This is her with the novice gear on, so kind of starting mage gear. And this is end game gear. Um, so face, let's go back to something. Yeah, there we go. Um, so her face, I'm gonna go for soft voice. Not really all that pushed on. As I said, I'm not putting too much effort in here since this is only um, a beta test and we're gonna lose these characters. So I like that hairstyle. I, I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna keep the hair color as well. Let's see what um, adornment options we have. Plenty of customization choices. As you saw, I'm not paying much attention to the vast majority of them, but there are a lot of them there. If you wanted to go into detail and put a lot of work into making your character stand out, that's definitely something you could do. Oh, I like that. No, I like that. Head markings. Makeup and things like that. Um, what have we got? I kind of liked the um, half a face one, the two faced type one. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the two faced type one, wherever that was. I was back here somewhere. Yep, I will have you. Um, eye color, pretty happy as it, well. Mm. I like white. I'm gonna keep all that as it is. Don't need to get too in depth there. So yeah, here is our our mage, our sorcerer, and let's jump into the world.
Okay, so starting. This is the tutorial here, so it's gonna want me to um, search the cell. So we have our basic movement tutorials here. We're in the third person view. Um, God, she looks a lot skinnier than she looked in character creation. We have our third person view um, standard MMO fair. I don't like it in this game. I prefer the first person view, but that's just my own opinion. So let's search the cell. Let's follow our objectives up on top. So our objective search the cell is this way. Talk to the prophet. So here's the prophet. Here is our um, our friend, our so quest giver. You've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. I've been through an ordeal, apparently. This place, yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. Okay, so you what does he want from me? And I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from the cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titan. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not enough. Okay, I don't want to ruin the story for you guys, so I'm not going to watch all of the cutscenes and play through it. Um, I'm just going to give you an overview of the game and the gameplay and things. Um... So apologies if you're really into talking to everyone. Um, I've done these conversations and there's so much lore behind this that it'd just take forever in a video. You could literally have an entire video just of the amount of options people have to say and stuff. Um, so I'm not going to go through that. If you're getting the game yourself and you're interested in the Elder Scrolls lore, you'll see that yourself. Um, so I'm going to choose and equip a weapon, it says now. So I'm going to follow my objective markers up on top. Yikes. Those guys are kind of screwed. Right, so let's see what choices of weapons it's giving us. Twin axes, bow, sword and shield, two-handed mace, restoration staff, frost staff, another two-handed mace. I'm going to grab the uh, the frost staff. Makes most sense as um, a sorcerer. So I'm going to take that, open my inventory, and equip it. So there we go. Go away tutorials, I'm not all that interested in you at the moment. So now I have my frost staff equipped. So I can take this out now in first person mode and yeah, I can attack with this then. I can charge up attacks, I can just shoot attacks. So let's go out into the bleeding forge and continue then. Okay, so here's our first combat. So I can block him with right click. There we go. Search his corpse. Take the gold. I like the graphics, I have to say. I've heard people say that they're not fantastic, but for an MMO, I honestly think they're pretty good. Um... I hate to compare the game with Skyrim, but it's going to be done a lot, and um, I do honestly think the graphics in this remind me a lot of Skyrim, so um, there's your comparison point, I suppose. So let's get this guy a little more. Oh, there's an area of effect spell to dodge. More gold. So here must be... Oh, I have leveled up. Um, so now is a good time to look into skill points. So this is my basic character sheet. You can see here I can choose titles. You can see my rank in the alliance and my stats and things as well. Any effects and um, buffs I have on me and mounts as well. 
Um, so when you level up, you'll occasionally get skill points. And same as other Elder Scroll games, Skyrim um, specifically, you can choose where to put these. Stamina, which is weapon damage, um, and your sprint and things as well. Health speaks for itself, and Magicka, again, speaks for itself, um, your, your casting ability. Um, I found last time it was very useful to put my points into health, but since I'm kind of going for glass cannon here, I'm going to put my point in um, Magicka in this instance. Um, and I've also unlocked a skill point. So now you can see my various trees in here. So you have your crafting trees where you can put points in your crafting abilities. Um, alchemy, blacksmithing and things like that. I went blacksmithing with my rogue and I got abilities like um, being able to get random ores and things sent to me every day. You also have your racial abilities which depending on your race will be different things. Um, the, the, the high elf ones seem to be very magic orientated so here's increased magic recovery. Um, which I unlock at rank 5 of being a high elf. Armor skills, light armor more concentrated towards magic, medium armor more concentrated towards crit, and heavy armor then concentrated on resistances and weapon attacks. Your weapon stuff again, two-handed, shield, dual wield bow, destruction staff, restoration staff, and then your class abilities. Um, so you have three kind of trees to choose from here. So let's see, I'm going to go for a class ability here. So what have we got as our first abilities? Crystal Shard deals 38 magic damage to enemy and knocks down for 2 seconds. Daedric Summoning. Summon a familiar to attack enemies. And Mage's Fury. Deal 10 shock damage and explodes for an additional 36 shock damage if the target falls below 20% health within 4 seconds. I'm going to go for summoning um, at this moment in time. So there we go. We have unlocked our first ability. Um, can I summon? No, I can't use my ability yet. So let's talk to her. More meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards. And I see you've armed yourself. Good. Still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Who are you? Lyris. So this is who we're looking for. Who told you to find me? The, the prophet told me to find you. That sounds like the prophet, all right. What do you want me to do? Believe me, keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Okay, so we have to help break the prophet out of this prison. Sure you As you can see, can. even though we have our quest objective updated, we can go in even deeper in this conversation and find out um, a lot more about her and the lore behind this situation if we wanted to. Again, it's not something I'm going to cover in the video, um, but that is an option and every co the conversation branches the out into there. The so we are going up Dead here, I guess. The mighty and noble warrior. Trust in her. And Okay, so you can see my stamina bar down there in the bottom right as well is um is wearing down as I run around so my sprint is gonna bring that down if I was a warrior or a thief or something like that I I can't remember the class name so apologies for <laughs> referring to them by whatever is closest um, if I was one of them my stamina would be wearing down with attacks also I still can't summon oh I can summon a familiar I had them bound wrong okay so this is um, our little familiar guy. Let me rebind my controls for a moment. There we go, that'll do f for now. So this is our familiar it looks like. This is my first ability, getting that guy to kind of help us out. So let's go through to the Tower of Eyes and see what awaits us. It. 
Okay, so optional objective, talk to Lyris, not all that bothered. Um, destroy a Cold Harbor Sentinel. So, I can also sneak, and while I'm sneaking, this is essentially stealth, and everyone has got access to this. So, I can sneak around. Obviously, as a thief and things, my abilities would be better. Um, I'll be able to sneak more, but while I'm in this mode, other players and NPCs can't see me. Unless I get close enough, obviously. So let's... No, I didn't get that guy. Let's get this guy over here, this flame Atrian arc. Although, that's not what I'm supposed to be killing, is it? So... If we look towards our objective, we can see on top of the screen there, it says that the objective is above us. So we need to um, go towards that then. Is that my familiar? Yes, it is. Um, so, whoa. So as you can see, my familiar is joining in the fight here. He seems to use lightning attacks of some kind. Let's get to jump on this guy. Getting plenty of gold off these guys. You can dodge and things as well. Um, if I wanted to in combat. I'm, I'm not very used to the combat style in this yet, so if I just stand there and get wailed on, um, please Forgive me for being an absolute noob. Right, so I guess this is um, this is the Cold Harbor Sentinel then. This gigantic eyeball looking dude. So let's destroy that. There we go, so now... While he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. Let's find the Prophet's cell. So that is below us. Let's get this guy. Oh shit! Ho 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 ho! Ho ho! Ho ho! Oh shit! That was dodgy. So I almost died. Um, so the prophet cell, it looks like it is this way. Is my familiar still around or is that gone? No, there we go. I have him back. So I guess this is the prophet cell up on top of the hill here. If you guys want to see me do a bit of playing on the higher level character, just so you can see what it's like, um, please drop a comment and let me know, because that would absolutely be something that I'm willing to do. You've probably seen a lot of people playing through the starting area, um, so i will probably do a video on the level 8 or 9 as well, just to show you what that's like. Um, that's as high as I've gotten, so I can't really show you much further than that. So let's talk to Cadwell. Whose voice you may recognise. Very famous British actor. So he is telling us how to get to the Prophet's um, room, the Prophet's cell. And that is through here. And let's attack this guy with our frost staff. Loot some more gold. And enter the Undercroft. So here we are in the Undercroft. Um, skeletal warrior. Our familiar doesn't seem much use, but then as combat gets tougher, I suppose he'll probably be more more useful to us. Um, now I know, there we go. I was going to say, I know for a fact there's traps in here to dodge. They also have chests and things to search. Haha, <laughs> you idiot. Um, they also have chests and things to search in here. Um, 
obviously other people are likely gonna have got there first in a lot of cases but if you do find a chest that hasn't been picked open by other people just like in skyrim and things there's plenty of rare stuff to be found by kind of opening the chests and exploring in them but where are we going enter the prophet cell which is above us so i'm gonna go this way more gold there we go so set off that trap oh that was close can we get him through the spikes no it doesn't look like it I, I think that guy may be a little bugged oh fuck that was close anything in these chests no Where am I going? Oh. That was me standing in a trap like a derp. Here's a chest. What can we find inside this chest? Gold, forgotten iron axe, and a lockpick. There we go. And... Ho ho! He woke up. Trying to figure out where we're meant to be going now. Oh, it looks like it's through here. So let's avoid this trap. And this chest has been opened. Is this one over here? Yeah. These are kind of in the, the path of other people. So they're all likely going to have been opened already. So let's find the prophet. So this is the prophet in his prison. All right. <laughs> Believe me, I wish there was. But I don't there are magical locking devices. On okay, so we have to disable these anchors. So let's use these and switch them off. There's one. There's not one here. She's going to take care of that. So I need to switch off this one. And then we need to go over and switch off this one as well. No? No. Only the two. My bad. I assumed there was going to be three for some reason. And now let's talk to her. Whoa. So she has traded places with the ugly blind old man. Thank the divines you are safe. There is that at least. Dera sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. I wish that were possible. That is the name. Okay, so we can't take her with us. So we have to enter the anchor mooring to get back to the uh the realm of normal people. Um, which is... Why is the objective marker on him? Ah, here we go. Enter the anchor mooring up here. So we want to go down one of the... Um, the gigantic anchors between this world and the... Um, the normal world. I'm not very into... Um, Elder Scrolls lore or history, so I have no idea what it's called. Oh, how amusing! And yet, so very sad. Can you deal with this guy? Ho ho! Right, so let's try and weigh it. Oh! So let's try and wail on this guy then. Dodge that. Uh, 
As long as I keep moving, I seem to be okay here. Oh shit, I got caught by that one anyway. There we go. You aren't so tough. The Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a sky shard. Okay, so I need a sky shard. Um, now, sky shards are spread all across the world. Um, and they're kind of a rare thing to hunt. When you find one, they'll give you a skill point, and each area will have a certain amount of them. Um, so if I use this sky shard now, it should... Yeah, for every three sky cards you collect, your character will gain an extra skill point. And hints can be found in your journal. Um, so the journal has lists of quests, lore as well, lore libraries. You can go along and collect books in the world and read them from here. 297 books. Um, and also your achievements and things as well in here. And the achievements has a sky shard section which will tell you. So there's 16 in Cold Harbor. There's 16 in um, this area. And we'll give you some idea where they are. So you can collect all the skill points and improve your character more. If we are to return to our own realm, we must act quickly. First, you must activate the anchor. I can sense the dark energy. There is no way to know... Okay, so I need to activate the anchor devices. So let's switch on this one. And let's switch on this one. And then wait for the prophet. Whoa. Whoa. No. Didn't do anything. This is an awesome looking little cutscene here. Um, so, approach the portal. Let's uh, escape to Tamriel. Oh, where are we going? We are getting sucked up into space. And that, um, ladies and gentlemen, was the tutorial um, for the Elder Scrolls Online. Just a very basic introduction to the game. Um, how to move around, get you your first weapon, um, and, and get you your first ability and just kind of set up the story. I'm sure you've probably seen other people do that part before. Um, but hopefully if you haven't seen it, you've enjoyed it and it's given you a better idea about Skyrim. I am going to have a couple more videos this week because I'm going to be playing a bit more over the beta weekend. So if you're still interested in Elder Scrolls Online, you're not sure whether to buy it or not, you want to see a bit more about what it's like, um, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel because we're going to have a couple more videos coming out over the week to give you a better idea of the game. I'm going to stick to this character and I'm going to progress it um, just that little bit more, get some extra ability and show you what's going on. Um, so thanks for watching guys and take care.